I need to know what prompt you used to create that image. Have you ever seen an image or an AI image that somebody created and you're thinking to yourself, oh man, I wonder what kind of prompt they used to create an image that looks just like that. I see this all the time. Sometimes I'll be going through the internet or Twitter or another app and I see a really creative, amazing looking prompt that others have created. And I think to myself, how could I duplicate that prompt? For some amazing prompts, click the link in the description. To make something not necessarily the exact same, but at least as a good starting block or a similar prompt to create and use for myself to generate the same sort of image. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Well, you can do just that, and all it takes is a simple command in Midjourney, and that's simply the describe command. All you have to do is hit that slash describe command, upload an image, and then Midjourney will give you a series of prompts that you could use that will create similar looking AI art. All right, so over here you can see I have and generate a lot of AI images. Well, let's go ahead and go to my prompts database over here in Airtable. This is where all of my prompts live. Every prompt I make, create, or edit live over here in my Airtable database, and so I'll even break it down in a gallery view mode that I can look at each image and think to myself, okay, which one do I want to kind of create and emulate and make for myself? And you can actually access all these prompts yourself with the link in my description where you can scroll throughout the whole entire page, but a lot of amazing prompts that you can use to create any sort of different AI art. All the prompts I'm sharing on YouTube, I have right here front and center underneath featured YouTube video prompts. Let's go ahead and find a few of these images that we might want to upload and see if we can get the actual prompt that was used. So over here in Leonardo AI, I just have one of these images over here. So I have a few of these superhero, Superman, photorealistic images. And let's just say I found this image and I want to figure out what exact prompt was used to create this image right here. What exact prompt was used to create this image that you see right here on my screen? We're going to do exactly that right now. So all we have to do is just head over to Midjourney and it's very simple. So we're so accustomed to coming over here to Midjourney and then just typing in the same command that we always do. And that's going to be imagine. Well, instead of using imagine this time, you're going to do the slash command and you're going to do describe. Now look what comes up right here. It says describe image. Go ahead and click that. It's simple. As soon as you hit that describe image command, you're going to see a little drag and drop box that just displays right here in the bottom left hand side. All you have to do is simply this. Just click and drag the exact photo you want to emulate over here into this box and then just like that, Midjourney is going to give you a series of prompts that it thinks you could use to create an image similar to that one. So watch this. I actually have my superhero prompt. I'm clicking it and I'm dragging it and you can see on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and place it in this box right here. Now, once it's in here, go ahead and hit enter and give it a few moments and then watch to see what happens. Okay, and then there you have it. It's going to pop up right here. Do you see right here where it says Superman looks forward to a new movie this summer? Here we go right here. So it goes and gives us four different prompts to generate something similar to the one we just uploaded. Based on each prompt, it gives you four. You could select one, two, three, or four if you want to create an image for one of these prompts. Or if you want to go ahead and have it imagine all, go ahead and click that, hit imagine all, and then just like that, it's going to start to generate four images based off of these prompts. Now check this out. Over here on the right-hand side, look at this. It did a great job. Let's go ahead and select the first one right here. Okay. Pretty good. Not a bad job at all. I like that one in the top right-hand corner. Actually, I like both of them on the right-hand side. Very cool. Okay, here's the second one right here. Look at that. Very good, too. So, they all look very similar. Let's go ahead and look at this right here. Here's the image I brought over from Leonardo AI. Okay. And then here are the four ones it made in Midjourney right here. Awesome. Let me go back to the first one again and then do the same thing. Okay. There's the first one. And then here's the Leonardo AI one. Man, this did a great job. Okay. So now we have two more options to go with. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Here is this series right here. I like this pretty good. And then this one's going to give us a completely different style of vibe and look, but again, pretty good. Nonetheless, I would say even if we didn't like this one right here, that's the awesome thing about this actual command because it gave us four prompts. And I would say that just about all of them look pretty cool. So with that said, let's try this one more time and really focus on a really photorealistic model look. I got slash, go ahead and hit describe. Now you're going to want to make Make sure to watch my next video because I'm going to show you exactly how to do a face swap for any sort of realistic image of a person. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of one of my new AI fitness model experts. And what I'm going to do is just click and drag her over here and then drop her over here into this box right here. Again, once it's in there, go ahead and click enter. And then just like that, we have four prompts yet again right here. Here's my image right here. And we have four beautiful athlete posing in her gym, workout woman, beautiful blonde haired woman posing in a blue top. Now let's go ahead and hit imagine all and then see exactly what it can come up with. Okay. Now that it's done over here in mid journey, let's go ahead and check out the 
the variations it gave us over here. Now I'll click this first one. Now this one did a very good job generating the models. However, it does look completely different. Not one of these girls has the blonde hair, but nonetheless, this is where this comes in to where I can use this prompt and I do actually like the way these look. And if I go ahead and expand it, I got some different ideas and variations, specifically the one on the top left hand corner. Very cool. I would actually use this going forward. Let's see if we can get any closer with these next few prompts. Okay, let me open up this one right here. This one is a little bit closer, pretty good. Now she has the blonde hair fitness model, although I'm not a big fan of the actual background. This one is a little bit closer, but really not what I'm looking for. Okay, so I did a few more. Now look at this next one I did. I went ahead and I uploaded this image right here. Now this image was one I also made in Leonardo AI. This is actually Game of Thrones character dragon behind her blowing. And here are the four prompt images it gave me right here. And then let's just look at a few of these images. Here's the first one. Oh, this is pretty good. I actually like the way this looks quite a bit. Look at this right here. Top one, all of them are really good except for the one. Oh my gosh, look at the bottom left hand side. This dragon is uh, gonna eat her head. Okay, that's not one I would actually want, but realistic. And then also the one on the bottom, actually the two at the bottom looks like that dragon's about to have a good meal. Nonetheless, I choose the two at the top. Pretty good job. This one is very cool too. And then this last one here got it completely off, but looking at these images, I actually like the way they look. It made some very photorealistic images of like this Game of Thrones type vibe. In fact, the one on the bottom left hand side, nothing to do with what I uploaded, but I mean, I actually like it. It looks cool. So I think that's the cool thing about this describe command. You'll get some things that are very similar that look really realistic and it narrows and it gives you the prompt and image that you're looking for but then you'll get something completely out of left field that's not exactly what you're looking for but then you'll say to yourself however this is pretty cool i kind of like the way this looks so then the next one i did was this one right here so i uploaded this photo right here also created in leonardo ai kind of like this futuristic dystopian neon metallic supercar and then it gave me these four prompts over here let me go ahead and hit imagine all on this one too and then we'll go ahead and wait and then see what this can come up with but do you see how cool this is so if you ask midjourney to go ahead and imagine all on all four prompts even if one out of four is exactly what you're looking for the other three out of the four will still provide you with a very cool image that you could use for something else down the road we're so, dealing with the supercar one right here let's go ahead and see what it's done so far now look at this right here man this is pretty cool i like this again so it did a pretty good job generating the sort of cars i'm looking for except for the one on the bottom right hand side actually looks amazing but that's an old school kind of car but that's exactly what i mean i get these cool cars right here but this one's completely different. Not what I'm looking for, but I love it and I'll use it down the road for something else. We also have this one right here. This is very cool too. And you can even see this one's a Mercedes in the bottom left hand side. Very nice. We'll go back up and do this a couple more times. Now, oh wow, this is cool too. Look at this. Now this is gonna be very futuristic. Bottom right hand corner, I love that on the street. And then we also have this one right here, which this one's pretty cool too. With that orange kind of sunset feel in the background. Love it, very nice. So over here on the right hand side, I got all these. We'll just go through all of the ones that Mid Journey made for us today. And as I scroll through each and every one of these images, I'm 100% completely satisfied with everything I got in addition to generating at least one or two image and prompts from the original one I've been searching for. So nonetheless, this describe command is very helpful and uh, I definitely recommend using it going forward. Now, a lot of people might already know that this command is available, but a lot of people, including myself, I didn't even realize this was a possibility except for a few days ago. So thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm